7.45 in the morning. Heading to the airport, Dublin. Destination, Bulgaria. Bike. Gary, just waiting for my ride to motor camp, and I think Gary comes now. So I'm here in motor camp in central Bulgaria, motor camp. And I've just been taking out the bike I'm borrowing. It's got all buddy stuff, all full stuff. I've got this bag. These bags full, these bags full, this top box full. I've got an extra helmet for some reason. Um, uh, Iran Iranian quality, I think. And um, lots of bags, tents, sheepskin. I've no idea where I'm going to put all this stuff. I'm kind of wondering if it's too much. But i got uh, not much daylight left. I'm going uh, to have a few beers here at Motor Camp and hit the road in the morning. So I'm going to do my best to pack the bike and see if I can fill it up. And packed my bag and all of the bike owner Phil's gear, serious motorbiking, um, onto one bike. I think I might just be able to fit everything onto his trans up. So in the morning, the plan of this trip is to go um, down, spend a little uh, night in Bulgaria, going over some mountain passes, have a look at some, um, maybe a monastery or two, and um, then go down to northern Greece and then have a little nose around Greece. So I'm thinking of maybe starting off in Thessaloniki, and the aim of this trip will be to stay away from motorways and find uh, nice little small places to hang around. If Greece goes well, maybe go into Albania, the final destination is going to be Bulgaria. I oh, sorry, it's going to be Bari in Italy. Um, and maybe have a nose around the, um, the heel of Italy as well. Um, and then fly back from there and ship back from there. But right now I'm just in shock at the amount of gear that I've committed to bring. I've been packing for an hour here. And I think, as they say in the movies, we're going to need a bigger bike. I've got all this stuff. Well, I'll wear most of this as my gear. I've got all this of Phil's clothes and boots and gloves. I got the bike full, I got the sheepskin on, and uh, it's going to be a very heavy load tomorrow. It's got to be at least 300 kilos. Hi everyone, good morning. It's first day on the road, hopefully. Just finished my breakfast here. I'm in a place called Moto Camp, and uh, here with a friend of mine called uh, Lennon. You'll find his bust uh, around uh, these parts quite a bit. And look who's arrived. I met this Irish guy last night. And uh, he's uh, going to go for a spin with me. Um, you can see it coming in there. And the bike is kind of packed over there. And he happens to be an Irish guy who lives, who lives here in Bulgaria. And he's riding a, th a CRF th uh, 250. We're going to go over some mountain passes here and maybe see a couple of monasteries today. And um, Hey, Peter. And uh, I'll sign off and see how we get on today. Ten more minutes, we're in Sivlievo. Sivlievo is the town where Ideal Standard moved to from the UK to make all of your toilets. And over there, I don't know if you can see it, is there's a big pile of broken <laughs> ceramics from the Sivlievo factory. I presume they're going to use that to make, I don't know, new Porsches or something, new cars or something. And um, we just have a little problem, electrical problem here on the bike, maybe a fuse broken on the CRF.
Papi. 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 what they are, but they look really good. I'll go this way. Okay. Oh yeah. That's cool.
good riding by Peter now, that's that's mucky. See if I can go down and meet him. Wouldn't be doing that in these tires. Sounds good, yeah, 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 should be good. Yeah. We played it, see how we go, we, you know. Yeah, Playable, yeah. yeah, yeah. Right.
version. So we've got our... Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. I don't think so. Has he got Wi-Fi? Yeah. Oh, good. So this is Stradco. We just got a room up here and we're going to go for a beer and, uh, and a bit of food. Okay. And we're in uh, a town called... Three Grad. Three Grad. Three near the Three Grad Gorge. Yeah. Look at the rest. 